The judge overseeing Baltimore's police reform efforts says the department needs to publicly own up to their mistakes responding to the Brooklyn Day mass shooting. He also has concerns about a staffing crisis in the department. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at federal court to break down the latest developments and the acting commissioner's reaction. Mike. Well, today, Nikki, the acting commissioner told the judge those who failed to do their job in Brooklyn will be held responsible. And we did learn that a draft of the after action report is close to 100 pages long. It's expected to be made public soon. The Brooklyn Day mass shooting was the largest in Baltimore's history. 30 people wounded, two of them died. Now, the judge overseeing federally mandated police reforms is weighing in and says if officers were out of their cars, walking the beat, and had the pulse of the community, the shooting would not have come as a surprise that left the department scrambling to respond. I'm confident the Brooklyn mass shooting after action report will reveal shortcomings in community engagement, Judge James Bradar said. Worley promised the judge those who didn't do their job will be held accountable. I asked him about it during a break in the hearing today. We could have done better, and, and we could have, and we'll, we'll stick to that. The report will pretty much show some of the things that we could have done better. While acknowledging challenges, Worley says he wants to be confirmed as the city's next commissioner and told Judge Bradar he needs to get the details right and improve morale. He says he personally texted the officers shot at this week by alleged carjackers about their well-being. You're watching WJZ exclusive video of the frightening incident. And Worley is hopeful for a smooth transition to the top job. This is the best transition I've ever seen. I think I've been through 11 police commissioners. This is the first time that the two commissioners, the outgoing and incoming, stood side by side and transitioned the department. Perhaps his biggest challenge is staffing. BPD has lost 76 officers this year. In August alone, the department hired eight while 14 left. The force stands at 2,062, more than 500 fewer officers than the staffing plan calls for. We're going to try to recruit, recruit some officers who have left over the last couple years by offering them an incentive to come back. A big incentive, Baltimore will soon raise the signing bonus for new officers from $5,000 to $10,000 as the BPD competes with departments nationwide to fill open positions. And the department has not set a date for when those signing bonuses will kick in. The judge has shadowed various officers on their shifts and says they are being crushed by mandatory overtime, including some shifts longer than 16 hours. Reporting live at federal court, Mike Helgren, WJZ.